what do you really need to execute a detox? Actually, what even is a detox? This word is thrown around all of the time, but what does it mean? Now, in my Is Come Nutritious video, I know I make a joke about beauty detox diets. And let me just say, as a nutritionist, I cannot stand this. They drive me absolutely bananas. Please do not waste your money on schemey marketing tricks and things that you can buy on Instagram that claim to detoxify your body. In this video, I'm gonna tell you why. And here's a hint, you're actually born with pretty much everything that you already need. <coughs> Organs. <coughs> Hey guys, Sarah here, holistic nutritionist and personal trainer at EatSquat.com, and today I'm going to be breaking down detoxification. Now I know you guys have probably seen garbage products all over the internet like magic pills and detox teas and all of these things that claim to detoxify your body and help you lose weight, but they're actually just a load of crap. I'm going to tell you really quick what actually happens in a detoxification process, and this will help you understand why these products are just a load of garbage. So there are two phases in a detoxification process. It is very important to keep in mind that when you start phase one, you need to carry through this process all the way until the end of phase two. This is actually usually where people go wrong when they decide to start a detox because in phase one of a detox, you are going to feel like crap. Yeah, exactly. You're just going to feel like crap. And detoxification is a really great example of the old saying, things will get worse before they get better. So this is usually where people veer off track when they do a detox because they begin phase one and they're like, I'm doing a detox. Shouldn't I feel like some radiant angel sent down from the heavens? Why do I feel like garbage? Your time will come. Just be patient and keep going. Allow me to elaborate. In phase one of a detox, toxins which are stored in our fat cells have been pulled out of hibernation and now they are running crazy around our body and bloodstream. This is going to make you feel awful. This is a part of the process. Remember that. These toxins have been woken up out of a deep hibernation and they are not happy about it. Making these toxic byproducts potentially even more harmful than they were initially. If these are left in our system and they are not properly cleared out, they can cause more cellular damage. So it is important to stick through phase one and head into phase two, which is all about elimination. If you want to understand a little bit more how these toxins will cause DNA damage and make you sicker, check out my video on antioxidants and free radical damage, which should be somewhere here. Now, we need to support the body in flushing these toxins out. Elimination. See you never. So that they don't keep running around the body and then eventually go back into hibernation. We are going to be supporting our bodies with nourishing foods, lots of sleep, lots and lots and lots of water, and stress reduction techniques. Eventually these toxic byproducts will begin to neutralize and now they are prepared to be expelled. So that you can finally start to feel like that radiant goddess that has been sent down from the heavens. All right, so here is my cheat sheet. What do you need to properly execute a detox? Number one, your liver. Yes, your liver. You cannot buy one of these on Instagram. At least I really hope not. Everything is metabolized by the liver. Even these toxins that we are trying to get rid of, they need to be processed by the liver. Your kidneys also play a really important part in helping with elimination. So your organs and your body knows exactly what it needs to do, but you need to support it. During a detox, your body is going to be working on overtime. Be sure to support your body nutritionally and support your liver maybe with some herbs like milk thistle and ensure that you're eating quality, organic, nourishing foods. Number two, hydrate, drink, water and then when you think you've had enough water drink some more water we need to flush everything out and in phase two these toxins become water soluble so we need water to help excrete them and get them out number three fiber fiber is also key for elimination juice cleanses are actually a really popular thing when it comes to detoxification as well and while i do think that drinking organic cold pressed juice is good for you and you should do it it is not going to cure all of your problems. I'm sorry. It's a really great opportunity to get high doses of micronutrients and to help support your detox pathways. And 
they're really great for giving your digestion a little bit of a break. However, when we juice, we lose all of the fiber that is in the plant. Fiber can help us feel more satiated and it can pick up toxins along the way in our digestive tract so that they can be eliminated. Number four, antioxidants. I'm not going to go too much into detail on this because I made a whole video just for antioxidants. So if you want to learn more about how to support your body from free radical damage and why you should just eat some more antioxidants, click here or I will attach it to the end of this video and make sure you watch it. Number five, reduced inflammatory foods and your toxic load. Take a break from coffee, take a break from sugar, and take a break from anything refined. We don't want to add any extra free radical damage while we're going through this detox process. Remember, the body is already working in overtime. This will help to reduce your overall toxic load and your physiological stress. Number six, Sleep. Our bodies restore while we're resting. Our bodies are going through a lot in a phase one detox, so make sure you're giving your body enough sleep to help it restore and recover and replenish. I also made a whole video on why sleep is the best ever, and I will attach it at the end of this video. And most importantly, remember to follow your detox all the way through to the end. Things will feel worse before they get better, Remember that when this happens, you are in phase one. So when should you not do a detox? Please do not do a detox or start any sort of detox process if you are pregnant. Please do not become a chronic detox dieter. Again, going through phase one detox is actually really hard on the body. And I believe that it is safe to do a detox maybe two times a year under the supervision of a medical or health professional. Please be careful if you have a history of eating disorders, if you are anorexic, if you have any liver or kidney disease, or if you have diabetes. Therapeutic detoxification should always be done under the supervision of a professional. So if you are serious about wanting to really detoxify your body and get all of the benefits that go along with it, then I would recommend working with a naturopath or a nutritionist or a coach or someone who is there to guide you. Remember, real therapeutic detoxes cannot be purchased on Instagram and just don't waste your money on that crap anymore. You're welcome. That is all that I have for you guys today. If you found this video useful, please give it a thumbs up. And if you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. We appreciate your support so, so, so much. Have a great week, guys. Don't forget to eat, squat, and come.